What is up, party people? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Devin. This is my dog, Max, and today we're going to be sharing with you my May favorites. There were three fountain pen inks that I tried this past month that I really enjoyed. The first one is Diamine Starlet Sea. I did talk about this in my last video, but it is just a gorgeous, deep blue with a lot of sparkle, and that's what I've noticed that I gravitate towards in terms of ink properties. I really enjoyed that ink, especially in my Daiso fountain pen, because that is the broadest nib that I have in my collection so far. So I feel like it gave me a pretty fair idea of what the ink was like. Despite all of the glitter particles, I didn't have any flow issues using it with my Daiso fountain pen, so that was a plus. Once I used all of that up in my Daiso fountain pen, I decided to refill it with something else and I opted for Robert Oster Fire and Ice. I wasn't really expecting that much from this ink, but I guess I was really underestimating its name. It's a beautiful teal with like the sheening of burgundy. I feel like I saw this ink really shine when I was using my Midori Day Length Diary. It was just by chance that I had dropped something on the floor when I was writing uh, in my planner at my desk, and when I got back up to sit in my chair, the light just hit the page at the right angle. I was really able to see this ink in all its glory. So if it hadn't been for my clumsiness, I wouldn't have known what a great ink this was. The other fountain pen ink sample that I was trying this month was Organic Studio Ernest Hemingway Santiago Sea Blue. And wow, is that a mouthful, but Again, it was one of those inks that really took me by surprise. I wasn't expecting that much, but it's got some great sheening, and I just really loved using it paired with my Twisby Eco, so that was definitely a favorite ink as well. This next thing I've had in my stationary arsenal for a while now, but I feel like I'm just now revisiting it and starting to really appreciate it again. And it's the set of UB dual ended brush markers. These I found at Target and I think you can find them on Amazon as well. So I'll leave links to what I can in the description box below, but it comes in a set of eight. I think these make a really great starter brush pen. Now keep in mind when I make that recommendation that these are the only brush pens that I own aside from the zebra brush pens that I have from Daiso. I feel like my favorites are the orange and yellow and the blue. My least favorite is the purple because I'm not sure how but the brush got damaged so I don't get the nice Exper hand lettering experience that I get with these other colors and I'm not sure why it only happened with the purple so just a heads up. I have one paper favorite that I want to share with you guys and it's a little bit unconventional but really really special. So for Mother's Day my brother and his wife actually sent a care package to my mom, my sister, and myself. For a little bit of context, my mom is obviously a mother, my sister has a son, and my husband and I don't have any kids yet, but we have two furry babies that we love and adore. So my brother and his wife actually included us in that Mother's Day care package, which was very sweet. They did not have to. His wife put together this beautiful paper bouquet, and I apologize that it's a little bit Wrinkled. That was my fault, but isn't that gorgeous? She handmade these petals and I think it just looks like something that you would buy at Michaels or Target. She really did an amazing job and it's all made out of paper. So Jordi and Jane, if you're watching this, thank you so much. I miss you both a lot and I don't know why I'm getting uh, emotional, but we'll stop that right now. I just I love you guys and this was such a special gift to receive and I'm gonna keep it on my desk that way I can always you know have something beautiful to look at my next favorite is not pen and paper related but I like it so much that I want to share it with you anyways I have really been enjoying Logic's new album Confessions of a Dangerous Mind and if you haven't listened to it I will link it off in the description box below if you're not familiar with Logic he does a lot of rap but I feel as though he's very talented in exploring the whole realm of music and sound. I think that's why I enjoy him as an artist. So while it might not be everyone's cup of tea, I think 
you should definitely give it a listen to see if it's something that you like. My favorite songs from him on that album are Homicide featuring Eminem. I can't say that I'm a huge fan of Eminem alone, but on that track, I just have a new appreciation for him. I really enjoyed listening to that. He has another track called Don't Be Afraid to Be Different with Will Smith, and I feel like it's just a really feel good song and it always makes me smile because the message is so positive. I also have been enjoying Icy featuring Gucci Mane, I think could be misquoting there. Overall, it's a great album and definitely a favorite for this month. So now I want to hear from you guys. What have you been enjoying this past month? Let me know in the comments below. It does not have to be pen and paper related. I'm open to hearing it all. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video by giving it a thumbs up as well and feel free to share it with a friend who you think might also enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications because Sometimes YouTube has other things going on and I want to make sure you guys see my videos. I do upload every Thursday evening, so please take care until then and I'll catch you in the next one.